Welcome smackers! Time to go through and fix that horrible ping and lag in Fortnite and get you crushing again. So let's do it! If you're new here for the first time and you like tech fixes, tutorials, gaming, please smack that subscribe button and ring the bell. I would really appreciate it. We're getting so close to 50,000 subscribers and it would be amazing. Uh, so hopefully you saw my video that shows how to check the ping. If you didn't, I'll put that up at the top right now. You can go ahead and watch that then so you know how to check. So you will know if your ping is high or not. Because if it is high, you're going to want to go through and do these steps. So first step that we're going to have here is uh, pretty much general knowledge. It's to use a cable instead of Wi-Fi. If you plug your ethernet right into the uh, router, uh, basically you'll be able to go through and have better signal than if you were using regular Wi-Fi. So that's a big thing. Uh, a lot of people stick with Wi-Fi, but the cable's going to help you a lot. So make sure you go through and check out using a cable if you can, if you're close enough. If you're not, that's fine. Um, but if you are, it would help a lot. So go ahead and check that out. Um, if you are downloading anything or updating anything, you want to go through and stop that too. Now I'm not talking about like watching YouTube and watching Netflix. I mean, if you're doing it on the same computer, you probably want to be careful. But if you're doing it on another computer, that kind of stuff's fine. But if you're downloading something large, you want to be very careful with that because that can go through and slow you down. Tip two, this is gonna be a setting in game. Make sure you stick around though, cause step three and four are very important and you definitely wanna do those. So step two is gonna be a setting in game, which some of you already may, may be aware of. You wanna go up to main menu at the top here, and then you wanna go ahead and choose settings. From here, you wanna go ahead and choose game, and then you're gonna go ahead and you'll see matchmaking here. You can go ahead and switch it around. It'll show you what the ping is. So, um, NA East, the secret's out. Look out, stream snipers. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, NA East. Uh, so right now, the ping is looking really good there. But you can go through. If I was connecting to West, it would be 89. Europe, 112. Oceania, 248. And Brazil, 140. You get the idea. But why do I need to know this stuff? Because say I'm playing with my friend and he's in Europe. If I'm the party leader, I'm the one that gets to choose a server. So if I'm NA East, my ping is going to be awesome. My poor friend in Europe, he's going to be suffering because he's going to have slow ping. So next game maybe will be nice. We'll give him leader. So then he would be here. And now my ping is going to go up to 112. So this is basically how long it takes the game to check in with the server and come back. That's why they call it a ping because it just sends it out and pings it real quick. Um, so that's basically how the ping is. So if you're playing solos, you want to go ahead and leave it closest, whatever's the lowest for you. Um, if you're playing with a friend, hopefully they're in the same area. If not, uh, then you're just going to have to compromise and see who it is. You know, if it's if it's still in the same area, it's not so bad. But when it's really far away, it starts to hurt. That's why on some of these tournaments you see they switch leader because they want to get better ping because they, if they're connecting all the way over the seas, they'll notice some lag. So that was tip two. So make sure whoever the leader is isn't too far away or you may suffer. But now let's go ahead and get into the real meat of these uh, tip three and four. Tip three, probably the most, one of the most important tips, three and four. So here we go. What we need to do is go down to your search and type in CMD. It's short for command. But just type in CMD and it'll come up with a command prompt. You want to go ahead and click on that. And here you're going to type. There you go. I put it on the screen for you. I'll zoom in a little bit to make it easier for you. Basically, you're going to type that, which is um, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and then enter. So that's exactly what it's going to say. Um, and then you're just going to hit enter and then it's going to go through and basically uh, get rid of all the junk in your uh, connection areas. 
so it'll make it respawn better. So uh, we'll go ahead and do it again. I haven't done this in a while, so I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, boom, there we go. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. So you kind of think of this like a web browser when you're browsing the web, you know how you want, go to all those different sites and it slows your computer down, it slows your browsing experience down. Well, this is kind of the same way. You're going to all those different addresses, so it's slowing your um, DNS down. Uh, don't want to get too confusing for people, but uh, basically just doing this will clean it up. It's kind of like a reboot, if you will. So the very important step, you don't want to miss this one. Once you do this and it's successful, you can go ahead and just click the X there, and that step's done. So let's go ahead and go on to step four. So the last step, step number four, is going to be restarting your router and your cable modem. Um, I always say restart them both at the same time. So here is my router. Your router might not look like this uh, because I'm a streamer, you know, I have uh, upgraded gear, but um, it'll look similar. It could look like a shark's fin. Uh, it could look so many different ways. Usually what I do is I go to where the internet stuff is plugged in, and if they are all on a power strip, perfect. I just turn off the power strip 30 seconds and turn it back on. If they're not all on a power strip, I just unplug the power on all of them, give it a few seconds, like I said, at least 10 seconds, and then plug them all in. And before you do this, make sure nobody's online using anything because this is going to kill your internet through the whole house, all your Wi-Fi and everything. It's only going to do it for about a minute or two, but if someone's in the middle of a game or watching a movie or something like that, they're not going to be too happy with you. So make sure you check everything, make sure everybody is good before you do this. I would restart your router and all of the equipment plugged in there at least once a month because this stuff is not restarted often. I haven't restarted mine in a while, so after this video I'm going to restart mine because it needs it. There are also some updates, software updates, that you need to do it so they pick them up. Um, so that's another reason because there's been a lot of updates out for routers lately, so that'll help. So this will speed up everything just like you reboot a computer. You reboot these and you're going to be pretty good. Your ping should get better for you. What is your ping? Let me know down below if you can check your ping before this started and then after. Let me know how it went. I'm curious if it's like got really good or got just stayed the same. Um, steps three and four are the important ones. After you're done with all this, also restart your computer. Yes, it's important. Restart your computer. Don't skip it. Restart it. Let's get fresh. Everything fresh, nice, and yeah, you're going to be crushing it. Guys, if this helped you out, please go ahead and smack that like button. I definitely appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Mac, out.